Hey Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and general reading for the next 10 days. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you are already a scriber, hello everybody. Aquarius, hope you're doing well. Happy New Year to you. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can also join me on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the live chat if you would like to get a mini personal reading with me. Paid, of course. All right. Okay, please be mindful. Aquarius, these messages are general, okay? Uh, may or may not resonate for you. Let's take a look and see what the energies are playing out here for you for the next 10 days, which will be from the time you click on the video, 10 days going forward. Okay. Okay, you've got a bossy male. There's somebody in your life. Mm. I don't like this energy, really. Um, this is just someone who's kind of, um, may feel like a bully at times. <laughs> um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy. Um, but this person is quite bold, okay? A leader. They could be very charming, um, courageous, very powerful. They have a lot of powerful energy. This could be a boss. This could be um, a friend, family member. A lover, an ex, um, but this person is going to be quite significant in your life in the next 10 days, showing up in a very bossy attitude, um, controlling, demanding, um, a bit forceful. Um, 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 hmm. Okay, they were trying to. They were. They were giving me the word weak, but I'm not really sure why. I don't know why they were giving me. This person might be. Um, having some physical weakness and could be demanding that you, <laughs> I just heard, you know, like when, um, I guess there's the old saying, like when a male gets sick, he becomes like a big baby. <laughs> um, no offense to the guys, but um, someone who's very bossy, bossing you around, could be telling you to do this, do that, you know, that kind of energy. Okay, very significant. All right, you've got wealth, health, and abundance. Very beautiful. <clears> hmm <throat> Aquarius so I see you sitting in this position of like um, wait no they're just saying this is this person this person yeah it could have something to do with their health this person is um, very wealthy very very wealthy they have a lot of money and they're very good with money this person might be an entrepreneur they might come in as like a um like a very uh they're coming in as like a very emperor kind of energy here you know very strategic maybe a father figure for some okay um could be a father uh this person is coming in like they have all the money so they can call the shots and whatever they say goes that's how i feel it's coming in here okay Committed love relationships is somebody you're involved with or will be involved with, okay? Um, if you so choose to say, okay, yeah, let's get together. <clears throat> this person is coming in um, wanting to have this with you. Um, wanting to have, like, um, committed love relationship is basically, you could already be married to this person or they could be um, wanting to have that long-term security, committed type of a relationship, love with you. But I still feel like this person is going to, the overall energy is they're coming in very like demanding in these next 10 days. Um, maybe just pushing you around or, you know, if you meet them, they could just be very, hmm, it just feels like you will be with me. You are going to be with me. You know, like a very strong alpha presence here. Um, someone that just won't take no for an answer is how I feel. Okay, look at this love offer. Okay, for those of you who are not involved with this person, um, there's definitely a love offer coming in, in these next 10 days. It could be somebody you've been, maybe you've been estranged from coming in and, and they're saying, nope, 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 You're, we're getting together, we're going to be together. They're making that love offer. It could be a boss, some of you, or somebody that you're currently, like you could be married to this person already and um, they're offering and they're just telling me like, we're going on this trip. We're going on this romantic trip or something. We're going somewhere and they're not taking no for an answer. And they've paid all this money for something. Or it's like we're buying this house and they're not listening. You're getting no say is how I feel. 
Now, you obviously can have your say, but I don't feel like this person is going to want to hear, you know, um, yeah, it's very bossy. I feel like they don't, they don't want to, they don't want your input. They've already made up their mind about something here. Okay. Um, what, what they, what you guys do with the money, it's, they're very, uh, traditional, like, um, I control the money. Um, all the abundance and everything we have, like, if, if you want to, like, this is the kind of person, like, if you want to, I don't know, something simple, like mundane, you want to go grocery shopping, this person, like, they give you the money. <laughs> Aquarius is like, I don't think so, but I don't know, some of you might like it. This person's like, no, I'll tell you how much. They get, it's almost like they give you an allowance. Or that this is the kind of energy from this person I'm getting. Okay. Uh, and you're like a, I don't know if you're like a Stepford type of energy here. Okay, now you have luck is on your side. The wheel is turning in your favor. You have the Midas touch. Good things are coming now, so be ready. Yes, you deserve this. Karma is on your side for all the good you've put out. It's coming back around, and what a payoff it's going to be. All right, some of you might be welcoming this energy. Some of you are, are truly welcoming somebody who's coming in and taking the lead here, okay? Um, it could be somebody you currently are involved with who's finally taking the lead or you know this is how they are and now they're, you know, doing this. Could be somebody new. It, this could very well be someone from your past, though, who's, who's coming in like with this leveled up, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to, I'm taking the lead. That's what it feels like. Very emperor energy, which is, of course, Aries. Very emperor. And some of you, like, this is what you wanted. And, you know, um, even if you don't, like, I don't feel like this person is going to tell you what to wear, but they want to have a say in stuff. And, um, and I'm going to tell you what to wear, where to go, but th they are kind of like, if you go somewhere, like you got to tell them where you're going to be, when you're going to be back, like you got to do the check-in. They're very, um, it feels like controlling in a lot of ways. There might be some insecurity with this person, but it, it feels like you are theirs and you, nobody, nobody else, you belong to them. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, I just heard that, um, that Mariah Carey song, We Belong Together. That, that kind of energy here. Like, th they look at you and they say, you're mine. You belong to nobody else. You're mine. You're all mine. <laughs> okay, what else do you have? Illusion. Although there, might, there may not be enough light to see ahead and the shadows may frighten you, only believe in what you can see, not what your mind tricks. Trust your intuition. If you're in doubt of something, remain still until more information is available. Take caution. So be wary of... Um, um, fantasies is what I'm feeling here. Okay. The illusion represents the moon energy, Pisces and cancer energy sometimes. So, um, this is kind of like seek clarity. The truth is going to be revealed. Some of you have been getting messages in your dreams about something. Um, pay attention to that. Um, somebody spirit or, or an angel or someone's trying to guide you or give you information about something, um, through your dreams. I feel, um, don't doubt it. Don't question these things. Wow. Twin soul. My gosh, I can't believe we're getting these cards. Communicate your love to the divine. This is a twin soul love. Definitely. So what I mean by twin soul is um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a friendship connection, but there's a little bit of um, like you, you two, you, you, you're just like connected fully, like in that twin, like um, twin soul energy twin flame type of a thing this is like a meant to be kind of a situation now listen i don't advocate um bossiness to the point of extreme bullying and um uh, abuse okay so let me make that clear if if you feel that you're in a relationship with someone who is like by the book abusive towards you then you need to take a maybe click off the video and keep it moving but I feel like for those of you who are not and you just got someone who's kind of direct and they just like to you know have it their way like they think they're at Burger King um it doesn't necessarily mean <clears throat> that that person's abusive but you know maybe they could um try to 
have your input here and there. But some of you, like I said, I'm not making an opinion. I don't want to make an opinion on this because I feel like some of you have been waiting for someone to take the lead. You might have been involved with someone who just was very passive. And maybe in your past, this could be somebody new coming in. A love offer with, with somebody completely different for those of you who are not involved with anyone. And this is someone who's like, hey... Uh, they take on an alpha role, whether it's male or female. Um, they know what they want and they go after what they want and they don't play any games and like what you see is what you get with this person. So it definitely feels like a twin flame. Okay, spying and deception. All right, this person does have a little bit of um, insecurity. I have to tell you that. Like I was saying that before, like where you go or what you're doing, they are kind of like, well, where are you going? Okay, well, who are you going with? You know, like they want to know stuff. Right, so they, they kind of like, I don't like the spying and deception energy because I do get a sense that that comes from a place of insecurity and weakness and a, a, a place of um, a lack of trust. This person might have some trust issues. Remember they were giving me the word weak in the beginning. So I do kind of feel like some of this, the way they are, does come from that. Um, does that mean you may have to give a lot of reassurance if you wanna be with this person? You have to, um, I guess, show some type of level of trust, like your actions and your words have to meet up for this person. Um, I don't feel like it's deep, deep insecurity where this person, like even if you tell them that they question, if you prove it, like your, your actions, your words do match and they still question it, then there's an issue. But, if, if, but I feel like this is somebody who can see <clears throat> that it, your actions and your words do match up and they're like, oh, okay, cool. Do you know what I mean? So there might be a tinge of possessiveness, um, <clears throat> that kind of thing going on. If it's anything, if that bossy male card was in the reverse, I would be like, you know, you got obviously you should run. But I don't feel like it's it's just fiery energy. Do you know what I mean? It's just like very fiery. Okay, hand of cards. Wow, well, take a chance, risk gambling, not showing your hand. Okay. The, all right, this is, let me just put the truth out here. For some of you, you're not telling this person or you, you're not accustomed to this, all right? Um, you might be more accustomed, Aquarius, to like just keeping things to yourself, right? Um, you're, I feel like you're, you're really just being asked here to be transparent <clears throat> with someone or with this person if you're already involved with them or if you get into a relationship with this person. Be transparent. That's the message here, because you may not be someone who, and that's not for all of you, but you may be inspired to not show your hand because this person demands it and it might make you pull back more, or you might just be the type of person who is just not really the one to just blabber all your business everywhere. I feel like um, If you're like that, you may have to take a risk to be more transparent with this person in order for something here to work. Okay, so there could be an element of um, lessons learning, a le uh, lessons to be learned in this relationship because it does feel very twin flamish. Okay, so um, that might be something just to consider for yourself. Um, you're definitely being asked to take a chance here. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting somebody wants to date you okay so for those of you who have absolutely nobody or you're single as a pringle there's definitely a love coming a love offer coming in with i feel like it's a someone who's got very prominent fiery energy okay it doesn't have to be a fire sign but it's someone who comes in with a very like they're feisty they, they present as someone who's very self-assured and confident okay and um, this person is really interested in you, okay? Definitely. So it, there is a sense of romance is, bloom, is blooming here. All right, let me get your charms. And get a charm here for you. See what's going on. Okay, you've got the moon. And you have like a little kitty cat with a moon. Okay, I'm feeling someone, it could be someone on the cusp of Cancer Leo okay that you could be connecting with for some um, okay they just told me this there's um, th there's a little cat and mouse going on here um, I feel like or there will be um, 
Uh, okay, they're just giving me the word bait. They're just saying bait. Um, it's interesting because sometimes I get messages from charms and they don't often make sense. But this this moon here looks like a wedge of cheese. And I'm seeing like a, a cat sitting on this moon wedge, this cheese wedge, waiting for the mouse to come in. So they, it's like a bait, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, somebody might be baiting you. I don't know if it's connected to this or not. Uh, this reading, but with spying and deception, I definitely feel like somebody could be baiting and testing. That's what they're saying, testing you to see if you are, like if your words and your actions match. And probably they do, but this person needs that reassurance. Okay, so there you go, Aquarius. That's going to be your message for the next 10 days. Time you click on the video, 10 days going forward. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next 10 days. All right, take care.